students. Welcome to our English class. Come with me and see. That's easy. Learn the verb to be. Go for it. Now you're free to learn. We'll show you how it works. Grow in a new world. Get to the top. Brush up in English. That's how it starts. Lose your tongue and start to speak it. Learn a new way to do it easily. You can talk, you can sing, you can understand. English is the key to have the world in your hands. Grow in a new That's how it starts. Lesson 8. Is this yours? Vamos relembrar o que a gente viu na aula passada? Lembram do presente contínuo? Remember? O presente contínuo é o tempo verbal utilizado para descrever uma ação que está acontecendo neste momento. A fórmula é simples. Verbo to be mais o verbo mais ing. Vamos tentar um exemplo. Nós estamos começando a nossa aula. We are starting our class. We, sujeito. Are, verbo to be. Starting, verbo mais ing. Não tem mistério. É só pensar naquela fórmula. Verbo to be, mais o verbo, mais ing. E além disso... Vimos também como expressar os nossos sentimentos. Remember? Tired. Worried. Upset. Sleepy. Angry. Bored. Sad. All set? Tudo pronto? Let's start. Hello, Mariana. Can I ask you something? Yes. What is it? I'm not good at Brazilian history, and I have a test tomorrow at school. Can you help me? Well, I can try. We can go to a public library. There are books and magazines that can help us. Great. Okay, so, let's, let's go. go. Pedro precisa de ajuda. Ele vai ter uma prova de história. Então, a Mariana sugeriu que eles fossem à biblioteca pública. Hi. Hi. We are studying Brazilian history. Where are the books that can help us? Oh, I love Brazilian history. Let's see what we have here. We have all kinds of books and magazines, right? Um, let's go. Okay, this book here is very good. It's easy to read and easy to learn. And Isn't she? Who? No, nothing. But she's so familiar. Pessoal, vejam como nós estamos evoluindo. A gente conhece todas as palavras desse diálogo, right? Eu sei que é um pouco difícil lembrar de todas elas, mas não se preocupem. Don't worry. Qualquer dúvida que surgir, ask the teacher. Excuse me. Can I sit? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, uh, I I'm sorry. What? What are you doing? I'm listening to music. We can see that, but we are studying here. So please. Hmm? Oh, sorry. Lembram do presente contínuo? Enquanto ele está escutando música, listening to music, os meninos estão estudando. They are studying. Ou melhor, tentando estudar. We are studying here. Trying to study. <risos> Hey, 
Your wallet. Is this your wallet? Oh yes, it is. Oh man, thank you very much. There is not much money in it, but thank you. You're welcome. Uh, is this your notebook? Yes. Oh, oh no, sorry. My notebook is red, this is yellow. Is this yours? Yes, it is mine. Your notebook is over there. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Quando o estudante disse sorry pela confusão que aconteceu, Pedro respondeu That's okay, como quem diz. Não tem problema, tudo bem. E para o vocabulário apareceram wallet e notebook. Notem uma coisa. O Pedro pergunta ao rapaz se aquele era o seu caderno, por isso ele diz Is this your notebook? O rapaz, por sua vez, quando percebe que o caderno não é dele, pergunta Is this yours? Sabem por quê? Ambas as frases dão a ideia de posse. Só que no segundo caso, como eles já sabem que estão falando do caderno, eles não precisam ficar repetindo a palavra notebook o tempo inteiro. Ah, oh, this is a notebook. Look at the notebook. Is it your notebook? 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 Não é não? Então eles dizem apenas, is this yours? Vamos rever a cena. Is this your notebook? Yes. Oh, oh, no, sorry. My notebook is red, this is yellow. Is this yours? Yes, it is mine. Vamos aproveitar para aprender as cores, the colors, em inglês. Red, yellow, black, blue, green, gray, orange, pink, purple, white. Oh! This is my pen and my pencil. Oh man, where am I? Thanks, guys. You're welcome. See ya. See ya. So, where are we? Brazilian history, year 64. Can I have a pencil? Yes. I'm going to write all this in my notebook. Mm -hmm. As novidades no vocabulário são pen. Pencil. People, you have to go home now, okay? Really? Mm -hmm. What time is it? It's seven o'clock and we all have to go. Okay, let's go home. Is this yours? Yes, that's my backpack. I love this color. My wallet has the same color. Oh, but I love your purse too. I love green. Oh, yes. Green and black are so in these days. Yes, I think the same. And now it's time for our review. Que tal rever as novas palavras de hoje? Pencil, notebook, backpack, purse, wallet, book, magazine. Aprendemos as cores também. The colors. Colors. Red, yellow, black, blue, green, gray, orange, pink, purple, white. Hoje nós utilizamos muitos elementos que nós aprendemos na aula passada para podermos fixá-los melhor e aprender novas coisas. E por falar em aprender novas coisas, a dica de hoje é o seguinte. Assistam filmes americanos ou ingleses, filmes em inglês de modo geral, e tentem entender o que, que os personagens estão dizendo. No início é um pouco difícil mesmo, mas o objetivo é pouco a pouco ir acostumando o ouvido com a língua inglesa. You get it? Even if you don't understand what they're saying at first, don't worry, because in time you'll begin to understand more and then you're going to feel very happy to be here. Por hoje vou ficando por aqui. Teacher, good luck, they're all yours. In a new world, get to the top, pro jovem inglês, that's how it's
starts. Lose your tongue and start to speak it. Learn a new way to do it easily. You can talk, you can see, you can understand. English is the key to have the world in your hands. Growing a new world, get to the top. Brush up English, that's how it starts.